Hello everyone, long time no talk. I have not made a YouTube video in what seems an eternity and is actually, I believe, uh, the better of four years. And to make a very long story short, a lot has happened in my private life, uh, but I miss being part of the arts and crafts community and uh, to interact with people again online about uh, my passion, which is arts and crafts. And so I figured uh, I'm back and I will be uploading videos again. Uh, if anybody is interested in uh, why I left YouTube and why exactly um, I didn't upload, let me know. I can make a longer video to explain it. But it's really not something super um, exciting or anything. What is quite exciting is that recently I had the opportunity to go to Japan again. I met my friend Abby again, which was very lovely to see her. And I bought a lot of stuff in Japan, um, which sparked really um, me wanting to make videos again. So I have... Um, quite a few hauls coming up, but this one is, um, as you might know from the title, a Daiso haul. Daiso is a 100 yen shop in Japan and I bought a bunch of stuff which I figured I would share so people could see what you can get there um, for 100 yen or a one, 110 yen if you include the tax. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> So firstly I got some memo pads. I got these two very cute memos. They are Alice in Wonderland themed and what I really love about these is that they come with four different sections which are perforated um, and you can tear off as sort of little memos but you can also keep a whole sheet um, and the designs are super cute this is repetitive so it doesn't change throughout this one and then the second one looks like this I'm still a huge fan of Hellas in Wonderland I just can't help myself uh, whenever I see something like that I just have to pick it up Next, I got this set of fine water-based pens, which are some water-based markers. Uh, they came in the set of five pens. Uh, they have a 0.5mm nib and they come in two different styles, but I only picked up the style Sweet. I think the other one was Pastel. This is what one of the nibs looks like, so they are quite fine. And this is what um, the ink looks like. So they are like fine liners pretty much. Uh, I really like that in Japan a lot of the pens are very um, thin because it's very good for journaling. I've been doing a lot of bullet journal journaling recently and I really like those type of pens. I got this um, pen which has a brush nib. I thought that this would be a silver pen judging by the packaging but actually the ink is just grey. It does write very nicely though so happy I got it. Next I got this Mono Twin black marker pen which has two sides to it. One with a 0.8mm and one with a 0.4mm tip. This is what the tips look like. Um, it is quite the standard permanent marker. And this is what um, it looks like. I am hoping that this will be water resistant because I do like to do some uh, water colours. Um, which it's always nice to find a pen that works. Uh, I do have the Sakura Micron pens, which are great for it, but they're quite pricey, so I'm hoping this might be a cheaper alternative. 
Next, I got some memo and point markers, which are little um, paper markers you can put in a textbook so you can find a page easily. And these are a Watashi wa Shiba style, so they're um, Shiba Inu um, style markers. And for those of you who don't know, I have a Shiba Inu, or well, he lives with my parents now that I moved. It's a long story, I wish I could have taken him, but yes, I miss him greatly. And I just cannot walk past anything which is uh, Shiba Inu, which is why I also bought these. Um, I believe these are more plasticky, but they do the same thing. Next, I got this uh, knock type eraser, which is an interesting name. It's basically just a pen eraser. Uh, I lost my other one, so I really like to have those in my little pen pouch. Next I got this Zebra Sarasa Milk Color Pen. This is a white gel liner with a 0.5mm tip. And I quite like these as well for watercolor because they are quite opaque, um, so it's really nice for highlighting. Next, I got two types of sealing wax. These are waxes to seal up envelopes. I really, really love these. I think they make any type of invitation or letter just look a little bit more special. And I am currently looking for a pen pal, so if anyone is interested, let me know and inbox me. Because uh, I really enjoy writing letters. Next I got quite a few types of stickers. So the first one I got is this really cute Shiba Inu um, sticker sheet with lots of different types. Um, I just love these. I actually got two sheets of these just in case. I got these yummy sticker which are ice cream stickers and they are so 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 cute. And I think I'm going to try to recreate some of these as polymer clay charms. Especially these bars I think could look really nice as like a resin piece. Um, so they give me lots of inspiration for craft projects. I got these transfer stickers. Um, the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. So this is all cherry blossom themed. Um, and... I am not 100% sure how they work. I think you rub the little uh, popsicle stick on the back of them and they transfer over. So I think I'm going to try to use these in resin just to see how they work. Then I got these flake stickers which are some, sorry about any glares, uh, colourful flower stickers and I got these in four different types and I really thought they would just, you know, have the same stickers and just recolor them, but they are actually somewhat different. Um, so I thought that was very interesting to see that they're not just all the exact same and recolors. And I think these will look absolutely stunning in resin pieces. Next I got this sheet of transfer stickers which is um, little cacti and succulent plants and they are so so cute and pretty. Next I got some masking tape. Daiso has a huge selection of super cute masking tape so I picked up this mermaid or underwater themed pack, this sakura themed one and this actually is in the shape of the sakura leaves so um, it is a bit uneven on the sides if you know understand what I mean by that it just looks exactly like that. Ooh. And this really cute fluffy friends Again, Shiba Inu um, themed masking tape. I swear I can just not walk past something that has a Shiba Inu on it. 
Next I got these two cookie cutters. I was a bit sad. Um, I arrived in Japan on the 30th of October. So a lot of stores only had Halloween stuff for like a day or two. And because I spent the 31st in Disneyland Tokyo and the 1st of November in Disney Sea, I really didn't get to pick up a whole lot of stuff uh, that's Halloween themed because everything was gone the next day and got switched to Christmas immediately. Next I got these Diamond Files, uh, a three piece set. I got my first ever set from Daiso last time I went to Japan so I picked these up and I will be needing those for my miniature projects. Uh, if you don't know I paint miniatures for D&D &D and tabletop games and uh, the metal ones often need filing down so these are very excellent for that and I like that they're so small. So next I picked up these glass domes which are just um, these little domes with some findings. I picked up two packs of this and I'm hoping to turn these into fish bowls with some resin and stickers or clay. So we'll see how that goes. Let me know if you want to see a video about that. Next I picked up three different types of fan. I really love these Japanese fans. I use them for setting my makeup with setting spray um, and I got this type which is the Wind God and Thunder God. This one which is essentially the same, it's just in black and white. And then I picked up this very pretty flower version. Next I picked up some Disney earrings actually. Um, I love that these ones are so small because uh, my, I have two piercings per ear but they are very close together so wearing two big studs next to each other is often not very good so I'm hoping these will fit me very well. Next I picked up some OU Pla. Now I believe in the past Daiso used to carry Oyu Maru, which is the same thing. Um, you put this in hot water and it becomes shapeable and you can make a mold out of it. Next I got a few of these color resins. These are 4 gram tubes of UV resin and I got the colors uh, green, orange, pink and this teal or turquoise color but it doesn't really show up well in the sliding. I apologize I don't have my daylight lamp at the moment it's up in the loft so I couldn't get to it. Next I got these metal parts these were in the nail section and I am hoping to use these for shaker charms in resin uh, or maybe for dolls. I'm not quite sure yet but I thought they were super cute and uh, they are just a standard card theme so hard, spade, diamond and clover. Next I got this sheet of decals. These are for resin charms and uh, the top parts are, and I apologize about the glare again, but they're gold. Um, really pretty and then we have some mixed color backgrounds for resin pendants. And then I got this UV resin kit which I thought was really cool that they now have some kits. I only saw this one and I believe one other earring type. So I'm not really sure how many they have, but they are these little star earrings um, and it comes with instructions 
and findings to make these and also tells you what you will need to make it so let me know if you would like to see a video on this and lastly I got a bunch of resin molds at Daiso I was so surprised um, how many they now offer I got this 3D teddy bear mold a 3D light bulb a 3D gemstone or actually two I suppose a mold for lace doilies a mold with little cat paws and a cat face which I thought was absolutely adorable And the last mold I got is this mold, which has a bunch of different shapes in it. It has a star heart, leaf, moon, two types of gem, and some little cubes. And I think these will be really cute in a shaker charm. And then I got this super adorable Shiba Inu letter set. And again, if anyone is interested to be a pen pal, please let me know. I got these watercolors in a set. I was searching high and low for Dyson watercolors because I know they used to do the individual tubes for 100 yen each, but I couldn't find this anywhere. So all I found was this set, which was also 100 yen. So I don't have the biggest um, hopes for the quality, but if anyone's interested to see how they work, let me know. I can compare them to some of the Newton Cartman colors, which I have, um, and some of the other Japanese watercolors. And lastly, I got two wool felt kits this very, very cute Shiba Inu one. this adorable little hedgehog. Okay, so this was it for my Japan Daiso haul. I still have a lot of stuff I got at Cedia, which is another 100 yen store, so if you would like to see that, please let me know. And I also went to a craft store called ABC Craft, which has a lot of amazing kits. I got some beading supplies as well as a resin kit there. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you made it till the end. Um, and yeah, I'm glad to be back. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.